Hi, I'm Jimmy Chang, and we're here to talk about math vocabulary terms for trigonometry. Now, trigonometry has a huge wealth of terms, but uh, here are six of those that'll give you a starting point for what it is that you'll be going through the trigonometry course. You'll be using these a lot as you proceed in your trigonometry journey, if you will. So let's start off with the sine definition. S-I-N-E is how it's actually spelled, but we're going to abbreviate it S-I-N theta for an angle for short. Now there's two ways to think about the sine definition. You can think of the sine as either the y coordinate over the radius of a circle, which is r, or if you're in triangle context, you can, or right triangles per se, you can think of this as the opposite leg over the hypotenuse. Now, along with sine comes cosine, and the cosine of an angle can be thought of as the x coordinate over the radius of a circle if you're working in circles, or if you're working in right triangles, you can think of this as the adjacent leg over the hypotenuse. Now, the third definition is tangent. And if you're working in circles, you can think of tangent as y over x, or sine over cosine, as some people like to call it. Or if you're working in right triangles, you can think of this as the opposite leg over the adjacent leg. Now, those are the big three, but the other three make up the big six. Because with sine, cosine, and tangent comes their reciprocal functions. You have the cotangent function, COT. You can think of this as x over y, or adjacent over hypotenuse, but either way, think of the cotangent as 1 over tangent. That's right, cotangent is actually the reciprocal of tangent. Now, you have the secant function. The secant, by definition, is 1 over cosine of theta. What that basically means here is that the secant is the reciprocal of cosine. So think of the cosine definition and just flip the fractions and you'll have the secant definition. And last but not least, you have the cosecant function. And that by definition is one over sine of theta, which means that cosecant is the reciprocal of sine. So think about the original sine function that we talked about to begin with and flip those fractions and you'll have the definition of the cosecant. So after you go through these six definitions, it's gonna help you tremendously throughout the rest of the trigonometry course. So I'm Jimmy Chang and here are a few trigonometry terms.